Hello everyone. It's another beautiful, beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing each and every day to praise him, to seek him, to glorify him each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is so amazing. He is so faithful. He is so kind. He is so lovable. He is everything to every last one of us, my brothers, my sisters. And I know sometimes we go through hard, hard situations. I know sometimes we go through difficulties. Now I know right now that your situation and your circumstances still looking the same right now. I don't know right now that you haven't seen any progress. It seems like you're stuck right there in the mud. You seem you probably felt like that Jesus has given up on you. That he's done left you behind. But one thing that you have to know for sure, my sisters, my brothers. Our God will never leave you. He will never fail you. He will never disappoint you whatsoever. But you must. Mm, you must continue to praise him. You must continue to put your faith and trust in him. Because he will make a way out of no way. There's nothing too hard for Jesus. There is nothing too hard for Jesus. My brothers, my sisters, regardless of what you're going through right now, regardless of what you are facing right now, continue to praise his holy name, continue to seek him, and always put Jesus first place in your life, no matter what, because he's coming through. He is making a way. There's nothing too hard for him. Put all your anxieties, your problems, your cares, put it on him. And you will see what Jesus will do for you. Amen. Amen. Glory and hallelujah. And before we get into this word, before we get into this message, today is a day of salvation. My sisters, my brothers. Today is a day. I know for a fact that I have some brothers and my sisters right now today. Some of y'all don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. Hmm. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today is the day I want to encourage you right now today just to start what you're doing right now. I want you boldly confess right now, Lord Jesus, I ask of you for you to come into my life, for you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. Once you boldly confess that, that you want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior Christ, right then and there you're saved, you're born again, your relationship began with Jesus at that very moment. That's the only thing that Jesus asks out of every last one of his children. It's a personal relationship. But my brothers, my sisters, you got to want that relationship just as bad as Jesus wants that relationship with you. You got to want that relationship just as bad as Jesus wants that relationship with you. Just don't build a relationship because you want something from them. Or you're in need of something. But you want that relationship because you want that relationship with Jesus because he wants that relationship with you. You want to walk with him. You want to you want to follow you want to follow by his laws and decrees. That's what I mean by having that personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. I believe right now that my brother, my sister, somebody's confessing right now. I just want to say amen to you, my brother. I want to say amen to you, my sisters. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. My sister, my brother, I have an amazing message today. I would love to share with every last one of my brothers and my sisters today. And we're going to be reading from the book of Isaiah today. Chapter 60, verses 19 through 22. That's Isaiah, chapter 60, verses 19 through 22. And today's message is, wherever there's a break in your life. Wherever there's a break in your life, there's a breakthrough that's coming your way. Wherever the break is, you best believe there's a breakthrough that's coming your way. And I know for a fact that this message today is clear for somebody today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our tables today. I just can't thank you enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back today. I just can't thank you enough how you providing today. I just can't thank you enough how you making a way for us today. I just can't thank you enough for the breakthrough that we're receiving today. I just can't thank you for this message that we're receiving today. I just can't thank you enough for your faithfulness. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy oh him the father god i just can't think enough what you have done i just can't think of what you're doing i just can't thank you enough jesus for what you have done for every last one of your children i just can't think for the gift that you endowed in every last one of us i just can't think for the big plan that you have for your children i just can't thank you enough jesus 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 that's why i praise you the way i do jesus because i just can't thank you enough that's why i'm always seeking you jesus because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always putting my faith and trust in you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for you to turn your Bible to Isaiah chapter 60. And we're going to read verses 19 through 22. And if you have your Bibles open, and ready to receive this word today. Shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, mm -mm -mm. and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again, and your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then will all your people be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. There are the shoot I have planted, the works of my hand, for the display of my splendor. The least of you will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord, and it is time I will do this swiftly. I am the Lord, what it says. I am the Lord, and it is time I will do this swiftly. So wherever the break is in your life, wherever the break is in your life, my sisters, my brothers, the word of God say, he is the Lord. He is the Lord. In this time, I will do this swiftly. So if you got a break in your marriage, he is the Lord in his time. He's going to bring a breakthrough through your marriage. Wherever you have a break in your finances, the word of God say he is the Lord in his time. And he will do this swiftly. So he's going to bring a breakthrough through your finances. If you have a break in your health, he is the Lord. And he's going to bring a breakthrough through your health swiftly. So wherever the break is, in your life, whatever the break is that you're going through right now, the word of God says he is the Lord and this time he going to do it swiftly. What does the word swiftly mean? That means he going to do it sooner and quicker than what you imagine. The breakthrough is on its way, my sisters. The breakthrough is on my way, my brothers, because the word of God says he is your everlasting light. He is shining you right now, even though. You're going through what you're going through. Even though that you are facing what you are facing, he still is your light. He still is guiding you. He still directing you. He still protecting you because at the end of the day, your breakthrough is on its way. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare throw in the towel because the word of God says he is the Lord and he will do it swiftly. Swiftly means he better do it right now. Do you believe that Jesus is going to do it for you right now? Do you actually believe that Jesus is going to come through swiftly for you right now? I do. I do. I can't even put a price number on that. I know he's coming through swiftly. And somebody right now is facing a break in their life right now. Somebody's facing a break in their finances right now. Their health right now. Their marriage right now. Their dreams right now. Hey, your job search right now. Whatever. Whatever, whatever the break is, he said, I am the Lord, 
in this time. I'm going to do it swiftly. That means he's coming through quicker and fast. Your breakthrough is coming swiftly to you. Your breakthrough in your marriage is coming swiftly to you. Your breakthrough in your finances is coming swiftly to you. Your breakthrough in your job is coming swiftly to you. Your breakthrough in your health is coming swiftly to you. Your breakthrough is coming swiftly to you in your dreams. It's coming through swiftly. Because he is the Lord. It's coming through swiftly. Just hold on. Just hold on a little longer, my sisters. Just hold on a little longer, my brothers. Your breakthrough is coming swiftly. Because he says, I am the Lord. Mm -mm -mm. If that right there ain't moving somebody's spirit right now, I don't know what else is. That right there within itself should be moving through your spirit right now. My brothers, my sisters, he said, I am the Lord, and it's time, and I'm coming through swiftly. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what somebody got to break at, but wherever it's, it's broken in your life, the breakthrough is coming swiftly. The breakthrough is coming swiftly to you. Amen. Amen. Somebody right now should be jumping for joy right now. Because the breakthrough is coming swiftly to you. Right now, somebody should be dancing right now because the breakthrough is coming swiftly right now. Somebody right now should be shouting glory right now because the breakthrough is coming swiftly. It's coming swiftly. He says it's going to take a long time. He said, I'm coming swiftly. I mean, he's going to come in swift. He's coming soon. He's coming quick. It's coming soon than what you can imagine. It's coming, my brothers. It's coming, my sisters. And this is the year and this is the season that your breakthrough will come through swiftly for you. Wherever the break is, your breakthrough is coming swiftly than what you can imagine. Amen? Amen. Look what the Word of God said. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end. Mm, 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 mm. The Lord be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow shall end. Your sorrow mean that pain that you're going through, that break that you've been you've been facing. It's already ending. It's ending right now because your breakthrough is coming swiftly. That's why it's ending. No longer will you be feeling sorrow. No longer will you be hurting. No longer will you be scratching your head. No longer will you be crying. No longer will you be feeling the way that you're feeling because the sorrow, the word of God says, and your days of sorrow will end. And your days of sorrow is ending right now because wherever the break is, the breakthrough is coming swiftly. Hey, hallelujah. The breakthrough is coming swiftly because your days of sorrow has ended right now. Your days of sorrow have ended right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know for a fact somebody's sorrow has ended right now. I know for a fact, wherever the break is in somebody's life and situation right now, the breakthrough is coming swiftly to you right now. It's coming to you swiftly right now. Your days of sorrow has ended. Jesus is your everlasting light. So you're going to continue to shine no matter what. You're going to continue to glow no matter what. You're going to continue to prosper no matter what. Because your sorrow has ended today and your breakthrough is coming swiftly to you today. Do you receive it today? And if you receive this word today, and if you receive this message today, you need to give Jesus some thanks right now today. You need to give him some praise right now today. You need to give him some glory right now today. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my sorrow has ended today. Thank you for my breakthrough that's coming swiftly to me today. I claim it today. I receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus. It's coming today. Amen? Amen. And if this word for you today, I want you to really, really thank him and praise him like you never thanked and praised him before. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By us praying the simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, 
my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always continue to put your faith and trust in him. My sisters, my brothers, wherever the break is, your sorrow has ended right now. Your breakthrough is coming swiftly to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe and I declare right now it's coming swiftly. Right now it's moving. Right now, today. In Jesus' holy mighty name. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Amen.